Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again reacting to Ruby. Well guys, we have finally made it Ruby Volume 4 Finale. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. I'm not sure if I'm ready, but it's finally here, 27 minutes long. <sighs> I'm nervous, I'm excited, and I'm very curious, is there an after credit scene? So, without further ado, let's not waste any time. I've been really enjoying Volume 4. I don't know if it's my personal favorite volume of Ruby so far, but Volume 4 has been kicking ass, and I can't wait for this finale. So here we go. Ruby Volume 4, Chapter 12, No Safe Haven. Full screen it. Let's go. Oh, the last time I'll be seeing uh, this intro, because each uh, volume they have a different intro, as we all know. You know, this is probably, after hearing this so much and having to wait each week with everybody, because I binge watched volumes one through three before volume four started airing. So, I don't know. This might, this intro is not my personal favorite uh, song wise, but I think volume three is my personal favorite um, song intro for volume three. So freaking nervous, dude. I'm just so fucking nervous. I'm so I just I thought he was gonna die. I thought Tyrion was gonna die last chapter by Salem. I'm getting into it a little bit, I'm trying to keep my mind off of things because I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. I'm scared. I'm scared. Love that shot. Never gets old. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. Come on. Still teasing it. Oh my god, that thing's creepy. Why is it just hanging like that? Oh. She Whoa. Like a sonic blast. Jesus Christ. What? Oh my God. That makes it even 10 times worse. The thing can just fling its arm as long as it wants to. Holy shit. All right, come on. Let's go. Ooh. Nice. Good job. This is one of those times where it's a unique Grim, right? Because, like, we've seen a ton of Grim that look the same, but this is, like, one of the unique ones. At least we hope so. Could you imagine an army of these? Come on, man. Here we go. Come on! Oh, shit. Oh, damn, shit. This is not gonna be easy. Guys, keep moving, go in a circle. Okay, that's tragedy. Ooh. This is just creepy as hell. Oh, they're trying to get it to Confuse itself. Oh shit. Damn. What are you doing? Yeah. Let's go. God damn. Here we go. Ooh. 
Oh! That did some damage. Oh no. He's got his eyes set on John. What the shit? Dude, come on! This thing has like so many tricks up its sleeves. What? Is it transforming? Really? It's transforming! What the fuck? I apologize if I start screaming. I'll try to keep it down low. I don't want to be screaming at you guys. Damn. This is the hardest on him. Because that thing killed his parents. Ooh! What? No. No, no, no. Oh, thank you, God. You scared me. You fucking scared me. Aw, oh, I saw that. This thing, whoa. This is such a unique boss battle, if you will, because we've never seen this before. Come on, man. Yes. Oh, shit. You need this. Dude, he, he just keeps going. No, he's not stopping. He's not stopping. That might be a bad thing. Oh. Oh, shit. Come on. Whoa! I have to say, what the hell? Nora, let go! Nora, they're going to get hurt if we don't. What the hell? No. I won't let you kill yourself like this. Everything we've been through, I won't let it end. Oh, come on, dude. That's that's not like this. She has a point. I'm here for that. Yes, you can. I have to. Get revenge. Payback. See, it always just, it's like hanging off of the guy. It's like, ugh, ugh. Kind of weird. So fucking awesome. Yes. There you go. Ooh. Come on, John. Ooh. Ooh. Here we 
go. Damn! Damn! Is it gonna break out? Is the top thing gonna break out? I doubt it. Come on, kill it, kill it, come on. Badass. For my mother. Yes. For my father. Yes. Yes. For all those that you've slain. Ooh. For myself. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's teamwork. Fuck yes. You deserve that, man. You deserve that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Crow, yeah, go get him. Thank God I'm about to say what? <laughs> Who is it? Sorry, I don't recognize the ships. How did you find us out here? We were on patrol and saw the smoke. No one's been out here for years. I thought something might be wrong. Alright, you what missed if it. We don't make it in time. Ruby. Whoa. What? What's this place? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I forgot where they were going. Sorry. It slipped, it slipped my mind. But they made it. So that's it. Yes. People are freaking out right now about that, just now. People are losing their minds right now. Oh, it's Crow, right? Let's say what? Oh, she can write a letter. Nice. Yeah. 
Okay, you can hide out back in the cargo hold. I'll take you as far as I can, but if we get caught, you're on your own. Understand? Every step we made took us further and further away from the things we knew. Nice. And every morning we woke up wondering if just over the next hill would be something good. Or something terrible. It's scary, not knowing what's going to happen next. And the things we do know now, just how bad it can get, almost makes it all worse. Told me once that bad things just happen. Nice. You were angry when you said it, and I didn't New outfit. Listen. That's but pretty cool. Right. Bad things do happen all the time, every day. <laughs> Which is why I'm that out dog. here to do whatever I can. Is that the same dog from wherever I can. Okay. It's mine three. Yeah. Right. We've all lost something. And I've seen what loss can do to people. But if we gave up every time we lost, then we'd never be able to move forward. She's leaving there. Yes. Yes. We never have a chance to see what beautiful things the future might have waiting for us. We never have the strength to change. Whether it's ourselves or the world around us. Oscar? To become huntresses. To be the ones to stand up and do something about all the bad in the world. Approaching City of Mistral. Because there are plenty of people mm. out there who are still lost. And even more who will try to gain everything they can from their sorrow. Still training. Me when I say, I know it can feel impossible. Oh no. Is a struggle against some unstoppable monster we can never hope to beat. Oh. She's so training to how to kill Ruby. If not for us, then for the people we've already. I feel you. I miss you so much. I miss Weiss and Blake too. Get Team Ruby back together. But I think you'd all be proud to know that I made it to Mistral. All of us did. Mistral, that was it. And we even ran into Uncle Crow along the way. I just following you, but. <sighs> Mistral. Wait, Oscar's going there. Yeah. Sure. 
sure would be great to get Team Ruby back together again. Yes. Try to keep quiet. Team Ruby, yes. Fuck you. You are in so much trouble when I find you. Until next time, your loving sister, Ruby Rose. Lionheart, okay? Now that we've made it across Anima, I really think things are gonna start going our way. Why, thank you, Professor. No! No! Oh, thank fuck! You did say you were, damn it. Quite hospitable. Oh, shit! I've been wondering where the fuck. Money. Money. Anyways, back to what I was originally saying. I was wondering what the fuck that guy was doing this whole time. They introduced him in the volume four, chapter one. And I'm like, what the fuck? Let's see. Okay. Blake. I'm looking at the credits. Who's voicing who? Salem, Gentile, yep, yep, Sarah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So. On the volume. So. Okay. So, this volume was a lot of action and then a lot of emotion. And this, ep this episode, chapter, excuse me, was more focused on, obviously, the fight between... And, and people have said in the comments what type of creature it's based off of the grim but i'm just gonna call it the creepy motherfucking grim okay <laughs> um and i was wondering how are they gonna be able to defeat this thing because it's at the horse body it's at the horse thing and then the thing on top of it that's just like creepy like, instead of like just moving it like twitches like moving and it has like a sonic blast and then its arms can just stretch out as far as it wants and then it can do a, like a windmill thing it just it was crazy, um, but I'm glad that they made it to where Ren kills it. I think that's the best part about it. Um, but that fight was pretty intense at one point when it cut the black when um, when Nora came in and stopped the other hand from going in. I, I guess stabbing Ren. Um, I thought, no, did you no, did you just fucking kill Nora? Thank God, no. Um, and then obviously with the letter we saw Yang's new outfit. She's on her way to find her sister. That's basically confirmed the way she said, like, you're in so much trouble when I find you. She would not have said that line about her mother because that would make no sense. And so she goes, she's going to find uh, her sister, which makes sense. Um, and then Weiss is out of there. I don't know. I, I think she's going to go find her sister. I believe that's what her plan is. And then Blake's plan is obviously to take back the white thing, not to destroy it, but take it back. And um, obviously Sun is with her, so that's really cool. Um, I wonder if her parents can fight too, like Blake's parents, because we never saw that. Now, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but interesting. A lot of teasing, and I forget I forget the character's name, the guy at the end that was sitting across from Professor Lionheart. I forget his name, but he, personally, when I saw Volume 4, Chapter 1, when they first introduced... Uh, when they reintroduced Cinder, who can't talk anymore due to what Ruby did in Volume 3 finale, and the three other characters, Tyrion and the two other characters. I forget the names off the top of my head at the moment. But the one at the end with the big old mustache. Um, I forget his name, but when I first saw him in Volume 4, Chapter 1, I went, I like him the most out of the three new ones that were introduced. Um, and we barely saw him in the entirety of Volume 4. And I think the reason why is because they're setting up what he's doing there with Lionheart. What is the goal? What's the end game? Well, because I think Salem knows everything that's been going on. I think Salem knows Team Ruby, well, not Team Ruby, excuse me, Team Ranger is on the hunt for, for you know, they're moving along and they're heading towards Haven. 
so I think that's where she sends that guy to go and stop them. So we'll have to wait and see. Special thanks to the own family, the fans. Full screen media. Oh, okay. I'm ready. There has to be an after credit scene, right? There has to be an after credit scene. I like the song at the end. You probably can't hear it that much, but... First members, yeah. I, I might become a first member. I might. I'm not a first member, but I am a member on the website. And I usually watch these like the night before they release on YouTube on the Rooster Teeth website to give them that view. But I decided this is the finale. I'm watching it the day it becomes available for free members on the site. That's what I did. Joe the Cat. I love the fact that they add Joe the Cat in the security section. And they have other animals too. Pixel the Cat, Dylan the Cat, Kid A's, Render Cat, Asta the Dog, Drake the Rat. Kanye the rat, Snoop the rat. Okay, here we go. Come on. Give me an after credit scene. I want one so bad. Come on! Come on. Give me an after credit scene. Yes! Excuse me. to tell you I'd like my cane back whoa what he knows wait it's good to see you again Oz that is so weird dude Dude, that's weird. God, that was still cool, though. Man, he knows. So wait, has Ozpin does ha, has he done this before? That's my question now. Now I have also okay. Wait, has he done this before? That's my question. Has he done that before? Cause that he's like, oh okay. Hey, Ozpin. <laughs> he's like, what? Oh my god. But well, that was cool. That was cool. Because at first, before Oscar walked up, I thought, okay, what if it's Yang's mom for some reason, right? Like, what if she pops up again? That's not the case. Um, wow. Interesting. Interesting. So now this opens up a slew more of conspiracies and theories because now Crow knows. Like, Chrome, Chrome knows that Ozpin could do this, apparently. Holy shit. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed Volume 4. It has finally come to an end. Um, I cannot wait to see what they do in Volume 5. Because um, I predicted that. I don't. I said either the original Team Ruby was going to come back together at the end of Volume 4 or in Volume 5. Now I think it's going to be Volume 5. Um, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe volume six is maybe what all the stuff they kind of set up in volume four that didn't really finish up will be resolved in volume five. And then volume six, they come together again. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Because now Oscar, who is now solely in time with Osbin, is now in Haven along with Team Ranger and, and Crow. Um, Weiss, I think, is going to go find her sister. And Yang is on her way to find Ruby. Um, and... Blake is so far out of, so far away from all this stuff, dealing with White Fang. So maybe my theory is them coming back together because I just want Team Ruby back. I want Team Ruby because I think that's what, for me, drove me to keep binging the show when I was binging Volume One through Three before Volume Four was released. Was the fact that Team Ruby worked so well, and when they first met up together in Volume One, and things obviously were not working out. The fact that when they Finally started working together and they started, you know, helping each other and just growing as individuals and growing as a team. 
It made me really fall in love with the show. And obviously with all the other characters as well. But it was really Team Ruby that made me kept watching the show. Um, now, obviously, I enjoy the show for the other characters, and obviously, but Team Ruby together was just, to me, the pinnacle. Like, it was the best. Um, so, I'm excited to see what happens in Volume 5. I'm ready. I am ready. I was expecting a type of finale that we got in Volume 3 for Volume 4, and that was not what we, not, I didn't expect it to end, to end like this in terms of with a long note to her sister and a lot of emotion and then showing different characters and stuff and then slowly building up and teasing you here's what's going to happen in volume five get ready so yeah i really enjoyed this volume uh this volume as a whole and i really enjoyed this finale so let me know in the comment section below guys what did you think of volume four finale what are your thoughts overall of the entirety of volume four did you guys like it did you guys, mm, you know, feel like maybe it was not your personal favorite? Whatever thoughts you have about Volume 4 in general and, of course, the finale that we just watched, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching my reaction, guys. Uh, I'm, I am I might react to, to Ruby Chibi. I think that's how you call it. Ruby Chibi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I might react to that. I'm not 100% sure when they start airing it. Um, but uh, I'll have to wait and see. But for now, Volume 4, awesome shit. Can't wait to see what happens in Volume 5. I can't Now I can't wait for the trailer for Volume 5. I'm ready. Give it to me now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done rambling. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.